How can we connect again in this technological, fast moving world that we're in? What can I do to make the world more safe and secure? What can I do to connect again? This is something that really concerns me, but also makes me incredibly passionate to do something about it. Like me and our son, our middle son, Harris, who has mental health challenges. It's really difficult. Looking at the diversity, this city is made of so many different colours of people, so many backgrounds. It's amazing. Complete mix, it's a melting pot. This fascinates me. About how people connect with each other. How can we all feel a part of the community that we're in? Linking creativity, linking technology, but still having the human contact together. I was so inspired by Harris that I decided to do something about it. I decided to use my creativity, my network, and design a project that's about inclusion, and it's about inclusion for children like Harris, to come together and have this fun, create, interact with the different digital tools that we have, the digi different digital games that kids use, right through to the experience of 3D printing and touching, smelling, feeling the different materials and the different objects that they can make. It's called Analog to Digital and it's a creative workshop science, technology, engineering, arts, manufacturing and creating a really fun interactive workshop for children on the autism spectrum and also children that are non-challenged. I'm just a mother. I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's what inspires me try and make a better community using creativity, using technology. I love what digital can bring us as a tool, it's amazing. But at the end of the day, as much as digital is there and it can help us, nothing replaces human contact. It's about people. How do we feel as people?